Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to another Call of Duty Vanguard video. Today, we are going to be talking about the multiplayer reveal, which is going to be going live tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys have had a great Labor Day weekend. The reason this video is going up so late is because I was very, very busy and had a honestly very, very enjoyable weekend. And I hope you guys did as well with your extra Monday off. I definitely, definitely needed that Monday off. But we are back with another video because YouTube doesn't really work for me. It's a really, really fun hobby. So making a video is something that I'm going to continue to do no matter what day it is. So again, the gameplay in the background is actually some Modern Warfare gameplay, which I'm sure you guys are a little bit surprised about. But the reason that the gameplay is Modern Warfare is because Call of Duty Vanguard Number one is running off of the same engine as Modern Warfare. Number two plays a little bit like Modern Warfare. It does play a little bit differently from the alpha, as you guys know, but it is a lot like Modern Warfare, and you will be seeing Modern Warfare gameplay for the rest of my news videos leading up until the release of Call of Duty Vanguard. Also, I'm playing Modern Warfare because uh, Call of Duty Vanguard uh, is, instead of World War II, I should say, I'm playing Modern Warfare instead of Mo World War II, because of the fact that I thought that Call of Duty Vanguard was actually going to play more like Call of Duty World War II, but it turns out that that's not the case. So again, hopefully you guys enjoy the Modern Warfare gameplay in the background. We did pretty well in that game, in the gameplay in the background, so hopefully you guys go to enjoy that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into what I believe you guys can expect from the reveal trailer tomorrow. So for those of you guys who don't know, the reveal for Call of Duty Vanguard's or for Call of Duty Vanguard's multiplayer is going to be tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is 11 p.m. or 11 a.m., sorry, my time, which is Mountain Standard time. And then, of course, it'll be 1 o'clock p.m. on the East Coast. So again, and I think that is also 6 p.m. GMT, which is UK time. So for those guys who are wondering when the reveal is, unfortunately, I'll be down at school when the reveal starts, but I will be home as soon as I can to, to get... Uh, information and everything like that and even try and watch the reveal myself but I'll probably miss most of it but I'll probably watch it back when I have a later time but anyways jumping straight into it the first thing that we can definitely expect from this multiplayer reveal is the multiplayer reveal trailer obviously this is pretty much what you can always expect whenever you jump into one of these live streams that will show uh, some of the new features some of the new maps in action as well as some of the gunplay obviously we've had a really really good exposure for those of us who are on playstation we've had a really uh, good experience with the gunplay already so we know really what to expect with the gunplay and everything like that but the trailer is always gives us kind of a little bit of a dive into what the multiplayer is going to be like in a way obviously it's not going to have gameplay uh, you know straight from the multiplayer we're going to get that a little bit later with the beta later this week but very very cool nonetheless i always like seeing the trailers i will break down the trailer as well tomorrow tomorrow's going to be a very very busy day i'll try and get out as many videos as i can around the reveal but if i don't get all of them out i will definitely be moving those videos out through the week but there's so much stuff that we're going to be getting which is super super exciting and again i am looking forward to vanguard i had a lot of fun with the alpha and hopefully the 6v6 is awesome as well so yeah, the trailer is definitely the first thing we can see. Uh, again, I'll do a breakdown on that. We'll probably see some kill streaks in action within the trailer. We'll see some equipment within the trailer and everything like that, which is very, very awesome. The next thing I wanted to talk about is we're going to probably be getting some exposure or some details about some of the multiplayer maps within the game, including names. We already have some leaked uh, or leaked map names, which I'm not going to be covering in this video, but uh, Ghost, the MW2 OG or Ghost, um, published some of the new map names and tom henderson also said that with the same thing as well and basically they both said again i will leave their twitters because i'm going to say something about it and i definitely don't want to get this video copyright striked but I'll, i'm going to talk about what they said in the tweet but just uh, maybe put the tweet up on screen but apparently there's one map that takes place within the pacific theater one map that takes place in the russian theater and then one map that i believe takes place in the german theater we'll have to see but those are basically all i know of at the moment and again those tweets will be down below in the description for then any of you guys who are wondering the next thing we can expect within the call of duty vanguard multiplayer reveal is we're going to be getting some features that are going to be shown obviously we know most of the features as well from the game we know that there's going to be the uh, the reintroduction i should say of tactical sprint which is basically a modern warfare feature where you double tap on your running uh, stick and then your character will put the gun up run really fast and then once you run out of that sort of sprint your gun will come back down but i'm sure they didn't tell us all the features that are going to be coming in the multiplayer we don't know anything about the creative class 
all we know is that the gunsmith is returning that doesn't mean we, we don't know anything else as far as i know about the created class we're probably going to see how the perks are going to be integrated what the perks are everything like that and the best way for this to happen is for actually me to reveal or to break down the multiplayer re reveal trailer which i did say earlier because there probably will be some perks in there and i can freeze frame and everything like that just so we can see some of the perks but yes we're definitely going to be getting a lot of perks shown a lot of kill streaks shown hopefully they announce that there's going to be a score streak system as well but again lots of new features hopefully innovative features that are going to be coming into this game we'll have to see but uh, that's definitely something that we can definitely get or get it get a view of when we have ourselves the multiplayer reveal and then next we have ourselves some developer insights so as you guys know from pretty much every reveal of multiplayer throughout call of duty but if you are new to call of duty with this video Basically what happens during the multiplayer reveal is that developers will sit down, talk about maps that they love, uh, talk about the creative process. I'm assuming that they will be talking about building a and creating a game within the pandemic that we've had for the past few years and everything like that, which is always cool. I always like listening to developers and talk about the multiplayer of the of the game, the maps, specific things because it's always it's just is always nice to hear how the developers feel about their game. If you see the passion in the developers, you know that we are probably going to be in for a pretty good game. If you see no passion at all, you have to be a little bit worried. So definitely I'm looking forward to seeing what the developers have to say about Call of Duty Vanguard because in all honesty, the Sledgehammer Games developers have been really, really vocal on Twitter. So I'm super, super excited to see what they have to offer and what they have to say about their game. They're, they seem very, very excited. And so I just can't wait to see what the developers have to say about the game we'll get that during the reveal as well most likely and then last but not least which is probably what most of you guys have been here for this video for we are going to be getting beta details we're probably going to be getting what weapons will be available we'll probably be going to get uh, information about what maps will be available what kill streaks will be available everything like that as well as the date we already know the date it's this upcoming weekend we're going to be able to play the beta so that's very very cool as well but we're going to get some more beta details i'm assuming and everything like that but ba th that is basically going to do it for this video guys i don't know how long this video was but i'm sure it was a very quick little news video talking about what we can expect from the multiplayer reveal tomorrow again i will have as many videos as i can tomorrow for you guys about the multiplayer reveal including a trailer and trailer breakdown that is definitely the one video i'm going to try my best to get out for you guys but other than that that is basically the only video i'm guaranteeing because i actually do have a busy day tomorrow with school as well as my personal life but i will try my best to get a video about the multiplayer trailer and breakdown because that's probably what you guys mostly care about and then over the next upcoming week, I will get more videos out about other things that we saw in the reveal as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are about Call of Duty Vanguard and what you guys are wanting to see from the multiplayer reveal, what you don't want to see from the multiplayer reveal. Personally, me, I'm excited. After playing the Vanguard Alpha, I really have liked what I've seen so far of the game. Modern Warfare, while it wasn't the greatest Call of Duty game ever, when there was good maps, for example, the gameplay you're seeing is Shoot House, the game was actually pretty solid and was pretty fun. I think what really hurt Modern Warfare was the maps and everything like that. I think the maps, actually, honestly, the maps were the biggest downfall of Modern Warfare. If Modern Warfare had great maps with no safe spaces, with no doors, obviously doors are going to be in Vanguard. But if the maps are good, the game is good. End of story, that's always how Call of Duty is. Even if the, even if the weapon balance is kind of mediocre, even if the kill streaks aren't that great, if the maps are good, the game will be fun, the game will be playable, which is really, really what I would like to see. We know that SBMM is coming back. They won't mention that in the reveal, but everything like that. But either way, I am excited about the game and hope you guys are as well. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, like or appreciate appreciated. If you want to check out any of my other previous Vanguard news videos, I'll leave the previous two at the end of the video for you guys to check out. I'll see you guys all on another Call of Duty video tomorrow with the multiplayer reveal of Call of Duty Vanguard.